What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. Today, we're going to be going very far up in the game uh, to an entirely new area, which is going to be really fun to get into. And in order to do that, we've got to use the lift that we got access to last episode. So we've got to cruise along this little balcony over here, uh, past the city. We've got to get through to the snow fields, which are right up here. I'm going to try to take the most direct route. In the meantime, I did a little bit of farming. I said I was going to do it, and I did it. I didn't do a ton, but I did a little bit. And that little bit of farming was enough to get me up to plus 22 and plus 22 on both scimitars. And I'll show you how I did that right here. Ooh, what a clutch pillar. Yes, pillar. <laughs> Thank you, pillar. You're <laughs> bringing the thunder with the pillar. Blood flame talons. 100,000 runes. That's right. Beat Moog. That Moogie boy. Um, basically, along the way to get to him, there's a ton of plus sevens, and there's even a plus eight down there, uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah, now we're up to 22, and now we're getting into the meat of the game. This is going to be... We're getting pretty close to the end of the game here, which is exciting. And we've done a bunch of optionals, but not all the optionals. And there's one optional boss that we for sure have to do. Because, uh, you know, if you ask me, she's not optional. I think she's a, an essential part of any Elden Ring playthrough. And it's going to make me lose my mind. And it might be... Yeah, it's just going to be a tough time. Um, for everyone who has played this game before, you know that I am going to be talking about a very specific gal. Who everyone loses their marbles over. Um, but yeah... We'll get into that later. We don't need to deal with that right now. Right now, we're just trying to get up to the top. Get on up. Oh, hey, friend. Oh, hey, Mark. Hello. <laughs> he was just praying to his girl. Sorry, buddy. Your fang is delicious. But, gotta get smith and stones. I really don't need them anymore. I just need plus eights now. Um, and in order to get those plus eights, we've got to get to the next area. Um, there's a couple of plus eights that you can get down here. Really not many. And you recognize that boy? I recognize him. Yeah, that's right. Back at that first castle we did, this boy was uh, the main boss. And now, he's just a boy. Just a regular boy. <laughs> he's still a problem, usually. Uh, but, you know, we're pretty strong. And this build isn't terrible. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. And we're making the best out of it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that boy was right. Oh, there's so many of them. I forget how many there are. Let's just bleed them. Thank you. Ooh, perfumers. I don't like perfumers. They, um, they can shield their friends, which is a pain in the butt. Especially when there's like five million of them. But, easy peasy. We making it through. And, uh, you might be wondering why I'm taking the time to go through all these guys. I feel like it's just easier to make your way through enemies. You slowly gain your runes as you go. And also, like, it just really, like, negates the chances of getting completely destroyed. Because a lot of times there's little, like, horn-blowing dudes at the end of things, and they get everyone's attention, and then suddenly you're swarmed by, like, 50 dudes. And it's just not, it's just not a good time. You know, when you pizza, when you're supposed to french fry, you're not, you're not gonna have a good time. <laughs> and it's totally the case in this game. Where everything tries to kill you, and there's always a mob that's like, insane and problematic. Oh, we just deal with the mobs as they come instead. Makes our life easy. Also, there is a hack to get to this part of the game, like, way early. Uh, but... I don't really like the hacks to the game. I just like to play the game the way it was like meant to be played. Um, you can call me a purist. You can say what you want about it, or you can just say I'm lazy about it. But um, there are players who go into this space and then have a summoner or have like a enemy invade their space, and then take this lift up to here because you can get access to this like way earlier in the game. But it just seems so cheesy, man. I just feel like I hate cheesing games that are meant to just be, like, learned, you know? Just learn the game and enjoy it. Ugh. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Hello. Oh, hello. And gotcha. Ooh. Flame Drake Talisman. We won't be using that at all. And then Smithy Stone 4s. Man, if I still needed those, that would be impressive. Because, good lord. 
made it to this point on uh, Smithing Stone 4s, hats off to you, man. If you're doing that, then more power to you. Also, he can ride a horse. How come I can't ride a horse? Can I, snag can I sneak up? Sneaks? Gotta love it, because the Golden Knights are pains. There we go, bleed. The bleed proc is really nice. Oof. Oh, but the horsey boy. I'm gonna have to deal with horsey boy. So come at me. Ooh. Horsey. Have some blood, horse. Have a little extra blood, horse. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, sorry, horse. You always feel bad killing the horses, you know? And you're like, you didn't really want to do anything here. <laughs> You weren't about this. <laughs> it's just the golden knight on top of you. Also, this one is hilarious. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Is this the one that turns giant? <laughs> it's the one that turns giant and fights back. It's like, all game you're taught, like, go after him. And then this one's like, no. I fight back. Uh, somber smithing stone six. Once again, they love their somber smithing stones in this game, man. They really want you to play the boss weapons. And let me tell you, by the time we get to the DLC, we're going to be so boss weaponed up, dude. <laughs> we can just do boss weapons straight to completion throughout the entirety of it. Oh, that'd be hilarious. We can just run straight up to max level boss weapons. But, I don't know. Boss weapons, you're like, fun, sure. I just really like to try the random weapons. Um, I think that a lot of people do the boss weapons, and that's cool. Ooh, okay, so I'm pretty sure we get a grace here. Let's do this real quick. Whee! Uh, remember that elevator that went so fast? Now we're back to these regular elevators, and it's like, man, what am I a plebeian to? I would like to go fast on the elevators, if you don't mind. Oh, Dark Zone. Ooh. Okay, cool. So, we're finally there. The Consecrated Snowfields. Or the Forbidden Lands, sorry. <laughs> we're in the Forbidden Lands. Oh, I've got 131,000 souls. <laughs> Did I never level up after? I never leveled up after getting Moog. Hilarious. Um, we are going to do this real quick. And we can get Torrent now. Hooray! Torrent, I've missed you. Uh, because there is a section here that we're going to have to do some a little bit of running. Also, those guys are fine, but they don't really give us a ton of runes at this point, so we just need we can blow past a lot of the problems. Because there's nothing to be gained, particularly there. And at this point in the game, we're like, dude, let me progress. Let me progress. Ooh. Yep. And sneakies. Ooh, dodgies. <laughs> Ah, uh, those boys. What do they want from us? Nothing. Just uh, just a good jab and a stab or two. Alright, sneaks, sneaks. Perfect. Um, also, this spot, or these this area, basically, with all of the uh, snow, this is like the most missed items in any playthrough of any area, just because it's like impossible to see anything. So you're like, well... Of course I missed half the stuff that was around, you know? <laughs> How am I supposed to see anything in this? Um, but the first time I played through, especially the, the full-on... Ooh! Where are you? Where are you, bud? He's somewhere. <laughs> I, I have a boss to fight, if I can find him. There he is. There's the bye. Ooh, we do some damage. Ooh, nice. The bleed does serious damage, but I know that he does a ton of damage when he hits. He's, like, got the Malaketh awesomeness, um, which I haven't fought Malaketh yet, obviously, but when I do, he's going to be a problem. I feel like Malaketh is, like, the first big... Well, not the first big roadblock, but, like, the first, like, time when you were in the game and you're like, okay, well, this game is not supposed to be won. <laughs> like, he is a pain in the butt to deal with. Uh, but to be fair, he's supposed to be Death Incarnate, and he does that. Sweet. Oh, it pays to be small and nimble. So small and nimble. Ooh. Dodge. And let's hit him with bleed. Oh, we missed the bleed. Let's hit him with this bleed. Boop. Got him. Thanks, Gargoyle. Thanks. Oh. Sweet. 
We're up to 100,000 again. You get a ton of runes up in this area, which is clutch because at this point in the game, you need them, dude. You need the rune. Um, yeah, you just have like, you've got nothing but leveling to do because towards the end of the game, I stood, I stand corrected. They want you to be a level 150, 150 for the, uh, for the, what's it called? The DLC. And we're not quite there yet. So we've got some ways to go. I think we're at 115? 115? Is that where we're at? Let's see. Where are we now? Yeah, 115. Uh, and we are going to get to 116 right now. Heck yeah. Ooh, finger reader. Tell me what you see, girl. Tell me what's good, baby. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers. Please, your fingers. Turn we let her. Ahead lies the land of the giant's flame. What we need, girl. And the way forth is forbidden. <laughs> forbidden! <laughs> Hear me. The burning of the air tree is the first cardinal sin. Doing mm. so will unbind destined death and slay the world. It's who would dare put you up to such a task? You know who it is. Most certainly not the thing. Not the fangers. It's definitely not the fangers who put us up to that. But the fingers can't be trusted. Come on, fingers. They're not to be trusted, are they? <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, honestly. All right, we going up on a Tuesday. It's so funny that two parts of the game are just completely blocked off by these lifts, and it's like, oh, sure, you can get there, but you're going to have to have the lift, and you're going to have to rob the right medallions. <laughs> We're going up. Ooh, liftage. Man. This part of the game, I will say, is one of the larger difficulty spikes, I would say. Like, when you get up here, there's a ton of problems. There's a ton of difficulty and every single place that you encounter is like it's pretty full of problems i would say like pretty full of issues and nothing's usually easy to kill everything is just kind of out for you but at the same time it's like i think they expect you to be level 100 100 plus when you get up here so you know we're a level 100 plus we're totally prepared for that i feel like at least <laughs> torrent bring me further all right, let's check out what's good, baby. Uh, check out the Erd tree over there. So cool. I just, I love, yes, I love this game so much. The visuals, everything are just cool, man. Hello, dear. Ooh, the map. Love that they're like, dude, we know that you're this far into the game. You you don't want to go scouting around for everything. Pretty sure there's a church up here. Yeah, so we need to go across the bridge here. There's an Erd tree, and then, ooh, what's that over there? Um, but we need to go across this big gangly bridge. But first, let's go scamper over here. These ruins, the, the dudes, those dudes in there, are hard. And I mean hard, 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 hard. Hey, there's our ninja friend. Finally, we meet We've met before. Tarnished. Who would be Lord? Mm -hmm. Am I? Why the long face? I have a pot on my head. <laughs> that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As mm. for his flesh. He gave it to me. Shabriri. It's Shabriri. All right, cool. You're about to start the life of a fair maiden. Only so that you may be. What a horrible mm. thing to put your ascendancy. But how would the Lord crown so? You know, sacrifices have got to be made if I'm going to be a tarnished lord. And I must be a tarnished lord. <laughs> it is it is forsaken, or it is uh, written in the scrolls, not forsaken. Fire Blossom, sweet. 
I'm just curious because I haven't I haven't done this yet. Obviously this playthrough. Let's see how dangerous these boys are because they are generally just problematic. Ooh, yeah, look how problematic they are. He's rude. Let's see. Ooh, he dodged. He dodged so good. Yeah, look how much damage he does to me versus me to him. To be fair, I've got lots of heals. And I can do that, which does a lot of damage. But he does so much. Oof. Oof. Also, I don't mean to gender everything as a boy. This looks like a girl. <laughs> Ooh, gotcha. How many souls do you give me? 5,000 is really not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. There's a bunch of them just scattered around this ruin. Uh, so yeah, I fought one, and it's like, remember, just get a taste of that, because there's problems in here. Oh, there's problems in here. I don't remember if there's anything great in this ruin, but basically, the later in the game you go, obviously, the better the stuff is. So you gotta love some good stuffage. But, look at, there's two of them. Two of them is too many for me right now. Especially, I don't know. One of the funny things about uh, playing this series is that I've learned, first of all, that Elden Ring is difficult. Um, it is a difficult game, like, just period. But having to talk while playing Elden Ring? Whoa. <laughs> That's an experience. I always heard, um, you know, streamers and stuff like that talking about how it's a completely different experience to play a game while talking through it and like let's playing it than just like playing a game for fun and it is for reals oh two nope two is too many i said it before i don't want two i don't want them oh get your little oh there's third you know what torrent come on friend let's get out of here baby we don't want any of this business this business is whack some whack business oh we'll grab this though Ooh, cured meat. Invigorating cured meat. That meat is invigorating. <laughs> Oof. We are out of here. Oh, I forgot that they had just random hawks. Hello, hawk. Hello. Oh, I missed the hawk. Oh, hawkage. Gotcha. Gotcha, hack. Done get you, hack. All right, cool. We're moving forward. I want to progress. And there is definitely a boss in this area that is pretty crucial and also kind of a pain in the butt. Especially with the playstyle I'm going with with, the, with this short range and, um, and lack of summons. Because the summons are great just for distraction purposes. Like, if you can distract bosses for just enough to get a heal off, like, clutch, you know? Like, that's great. Um, but with the playstyle I'm going with, I don't have that option. <laughs> I don't have that option at all. <laughs> everything, basically, relies on me being soloing everything, which is fine. Um, and honestly, it's it's totally a playstyle choice that I'm making, which I don't know why I'm making it, but I am making it. And it's fun. Uh, it's definitely a new challenge to do no summons and, like, not super great weapons, right? Because there are weapons that are definitely better than what I'm using right now. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Um, I could I could easily use dex weapons. And there is a dex weapon in this area that is way better than what I'm using. Uh, Rivers of Blood Katana is like, was the meta and probably is still the meta for PvP. People still... I'm not, I know people still use it. Um, so yeah, you know. But I'm just having fun with the challenge, man. Who doesn't like a good challenge to a game that you've played before, you know? I like it, at least. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, that there is... Yeah. Spot down here. I'm not going to go through this catacomb right now because, once again, I want to progress. But I will get the Sight of Grace here, just for ease of use. Ooh, hello. Um, I also know that there's... I'm pretty sure that in this catacomb there's a couple... Oh, the Beast Eye Quivers. Ooh, I stand mistaken. I am going to go through this catacomb. The beast eye is the thing that you get from Garank, um, which essentially... Oh, hey, friend. 
uh, tells you whenever uh, death root is nearby. And we are very close to having all of the death root. Who's coming? Yep, there we go. Uh, we're very close to having all of the death root that we need to get to rank to be like our buddy. And if we do that, before we go and fight Garank, which we have to fight him eventually, like there's just no getting around it. Um, if we do that, he has a unique voice line. And it's fun to get a unique voice line because that it's funny that that's like the culmination of the quest. It's that he is basically upset that he has to kill you. <laughs> and believe me, he won't kill you. He's a nightmare to fight. He's insane, dude. It's like one of those things where it's like, sure, you could power level to get to the point where like he's not a problem, but it's going to take some time to get to that point. And I really don't want to do that. I want to experience like the challenge and the difficulty of this game and just kind of go through it at the pace that it's supposed to go at and not just like destroy everything by being like, yeah, I'll spend like 10 extra hours power leveling because that's fun. It ain't fun. Let me sneak up here. Hello. Anything? Nothing. Well, whatever. Is there... Ooh, that is death. But that is not death. That's the way we gotta go, I'm pretty sure. Ugh. Yeah, once again, welcome to FromSoft Games. These games love to have you go up the lift and re-trigger them to find a secret way down to where you actually have to go. <laughs> it's like classic FromSoft move right there. And anything? No, whatever. Whatever, friend. That is fine with me. Okay. I'm pretty sure that someone's going to pop out at me. Yep. Anyone? No. He's just there. All right, we take it. There's a lot of bloodstains here for no reason. Hmm. Who's dropping bloodstains on one dude? On one gargoyle? You know what I'm saying? Oh! Because that's the boy. He's usually a boss at the end of these dungeons. Oh, don't do it. Heals. Perfect. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do the goops. Heal. Ooh, that was close. Let's get one more in us. Ooh, he'd be bananas. Okay, circles. Circles. And when he's done doing it, we're gonna bleed him. Oh, he frosted us. Oh! <laughs> I stand corrected. I see why there's all the blood stains. He did a lot of damage for no reason. Oh, right. This time we're gonna be smart. And we are not going to even mess with that boy. We're just going to kill his friend. We're going to grab our runes. Maybe we won't grab our runes. Oh, he's going buck wild. And then we can just dip. Don't have to fight him. It's not a mandatory part of this. Oh, I got a hit. Yep. Rapid. All right, cool. We in. Who's going to kill me? There they are. I wonder what kind of grave or love or eight uh, love <laughs> where did that come out of my how did that come out of my brain <laughs> grave glove wart that's why because i saw glove wart <laughs> love wart <laughs> all right cool we wait and then we run ah! cool and then hit it with the smacks you go down friend is there anything up here Ooh, no I just climbed it for no reason. Fine with me. Luring out, and then time for trap. Luring. Oh, I got some frostbite because I just got impatient. Yep. Let me through. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They always have friends on the other side of that. Ooh, does frostbite just make me slow? I never get frostbit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, there's another friend. Don't do it. We have to beat this one. I guess we don't technically. We could literally just sneak on by. That seems so cheesy. Cheesy. And we're still cheesing. I mean, hey, you gotta take the cheese. Oh, no thanks. Oh, that's a lot of frostbite. Heal. 
Ooh, he be buck wild. No, thank you. Oh. No kitty cat. Are they kitty cats or dogs? I always thought that they were cats. But everyone's like, no, they're dogs. <laughs> they seem so cat-like, don't they? Ooh, okay, got that one. Is this a trap? Regret, oh regret. What's down here? Fire monk ashes. Wow, can't wait to not use those, brah. Those are gonna be very much not worthwhile. <laughs> Whatever, though. Like exploring. Exploring is fun. Alright, cool. So we can go through. Cat doesn't even need to know about us. Okay, we've already done that. Ooh, crap. So now I think we can head back up. I think that this didn't... We didn't even need to go down here. Whatever. I always like collecting the summons. I, um... A while ago, I went through the game and collected every summons and collected every Ash of War. Um... And every Talisman. Because... Why not? Like... It's just fun to do. Like, going to all the places that you haven't gone to in the game and just kind of exploring, feeling it out, doing all that stuff is fun. Um, maybe it doesn't sound fun to you, <laughs> but it sounds fun to me. <laughs> I love that stuff. That's the kind of stuff that I like. If you're going to pay, a, I mean, to really, to pay for a AAA game, it's a lot of money, you know? You're paying 60 bucks, and for, like, just, like, regular consumers, you could, you could buy a lot of random stuff for that, right? Like, so if you're going to be playing a $60 game, you want to play a game that you're going to get some replayability on, I feel like. And so many times AAA games fall back on just being like, who cares, like, about replayability or, like, scalability or anything like that. Like, all you have to do is just put out a game and people will buy it. Once they buy it, we're done, you know? That just feels so rude. Like, the player base loves a lot of these games. And whenever they go above and beyond, we love it, man. At least I do. Um, maybe that's just me. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Okay. Can I sneak through? Just grab this? Ooh. Okay. That's not, uh, that's not the, that's not the thing. I thought it was. Okay. Sneak. I don't like killing the pots. Say what you will about it. I just always think of Alexander and I'm like, man. I don't want to kill the pots. <laughs> Ooh, trap. Oh, I might not have seen it in time, but I did dodge. All right, cool. A lot of times, okay, this isn't one of them, but a lot of times you have to ride those up. Okay, those guys are exploding. Keep in mind, they're going to explode. So we dodge. Nice. Nice. Is there a bigger one? Oh, come on. Jump at me, friend. Oh, how did he get me? <laughs> how on earth did he get me? Ooh. I'm sure it's worthless, but... I love getting sturf. I love getting sturf. Okay. I'm low on healing because I went all the way down to the cat place. Oh, are these barfy boys? No thanks, barfers. You guys barf. Barf to your heart's content, my dudes. I don't want to do any of your barfs. <laughs> what a funny little hallway. To just have barfers. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that seems like the way I've got to go. But first, go this way. Wake up the big pot. Yep, there he is. Oh, thank you. Got your ritual pot. Ooh. I don't need any grave glove wart. Thank you for the ability to pronounce words. I don't need any of that stuff because I already upgraded my ash or my um, summons to the max level. I'm not even using summons, so it's like, meh. Not gonna need it again. <laughs> Didn't need it the first time. <laughs> Is it down there? That's where I was, right? Be wary of down, therefore, I already was down. I swear, these, these areas are pains in the butt. Because so many times it's like, oh, well, you're supposed to do this and this and this, and you're just like, ugh. Oh. How was I supposed to know any of that? Wisdom, visions of here again, but look carefully. I'm looking very carefully. I've looked so carefully. Hello. Hello, little ashy boy. Oh, there's so many of those guys. All right, let's see if we can figure out exactly what we need to do real quick. There's definitely some trick to this. 
right? What's the trick? <laughs> Who was the trick? Oh, oh. Wow, I'm alive. Against all odds. Oh, and I'm out of healing. Is this where I've, is this it? Is this it? No, it's not it. Oh, okay. So is it a duplicate? It's a duplicate. That's so rude. Makes you so confused. But there's still the Barfy boys. All right, we're going back up to the Barfies. Oh, see, it's different. There's Mega Barfer. We don't need anything to do with Mega Barfer. All right, cool. We're in a whole nother layer deep. Trap ahead. What is, do I want to go? Oh, that's the trap. Oh, I can just use that to my advantage. Better keep coming at me, big guy. Keep on coming. <laughs> totally use that to kill him. Love that for me. All right. Ugh. This game. I swear, so many of these dungeons are ridiculous. We've gone down. Gone down. And we've gone down. Right? So that should be where we need to be? No. Ooh. Is this the is, is this a different elevator? Is it? Is it? I don't think it is. I think it's the same elevator, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, it is different. This elevator is different. But I don't really want to be here. I don't want to be dealing with this cat. This dang cat. Oh, there's so many of them. No thanks. I don't have any health. Don't bother me. I've got no health. Nope. Don't. Oh, you rude dude. Thank you. Oh, I've got no healing. Oh, and he survived the fall. All right, cool. Cool. <gasps> Secret zone. Oh, she has bots. Don't want any of your business. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna just turn this on. That's all I wanna do. Open up some doors. And then I'm gonna leave, baby. Then I'm gonna leave. Oh! It, oh! <laughs> Sixty-one thousand runes is a lot of runes to just lose. Oh man! Grab our runes. Runes accomplished. And then prepare for the boy to be very grumpy. All right, cool. We out. And we've made it. All right, cool. Bye, friend. Now let's go and go fight this boss. Because he's going to be a fun time, boss. A fun boss time. All right, cool. Is this the... No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yes. Perfect. There's the boss. Let's go heal real quick and deal with a bossy make boss with it. There it is. There's the boss room. I don't remember which boss is in here, but given the fact that we've had two bosses that would be regular bosses at the end of this game, or at the end of the dungeon, already in the dungeon, it's gonna be a big one. I bet it's gonna be one of the big snaky boys. Is it a snaky boy? Yeah, snaky boy! Ulcerated tree spirit. He's gonna be a problem, I can guarantee it. Ooh, no thanks! Alright, cool. Oh, he's so aggressive. He just... He be flying. Oh, but he does a ton of damage. We can do some good damage to him, but man, he does some good damage to us. No thanks. Let's do a bleed. All right, cool. And then heals. All right, we take the punishment from him, but phase two of him is going to be insane, I bet. So let's try to just go down that as quickly as we can. Ooh, that's awesome. All right, and here he comes. No thanks. All right, beautiful. Oh, he's flaming. We don't like the flames. We don't like the ulcerated tree spirit flames. 
Oh, here he comes. Ooh, okay, don't like that. No thanks. No thanks. Oh, look how bananas he goes. For no reason he goes bananas. Okay, come on. We can get through this. Ooh, we're doing some great damage on him. Ooh, but he's doing some great damage on us. Okay, we're doing great healing-wise. So let's just be safe. Let's just be safe. Heal up whenever we can. Ooh, yep, he's gonna be he's gonna be doing that. That's not great. And then dodge that if we can. Okay. And then hit him with some sauce. Ooh, that actually wasn't too bad. I was expecting him to be way worse. Golden seed. Ooh. Hey, bell bearing. Ooh, and a good chunk of souls. But most importantly, we got ourselves this. Yes. Which is death root. We have so many different death roots that we have given to rank. I think we're literally down to the last two now. Or I think this is this one and then one more and then we're done. And endurance. Perfect. Perfect. All right, cool. So that's another death root done. And uh, it's a save spot. Really, I came in here for a save spot. I left with a death root. I'm not mad about it. And I left with a level. Got a level out of it. Not too shabby, you know? All right, now this is where things get bananas. Because this bridge, look at that guy over there. You see him across the bridge? He's a giant archer. And he doesn't really take kindly to us crossing his giant bridge. And he's just going to start irking stuff at us. And he can just kill you outright, just topple you off the bridge. So, you gotta be a little careful with them. Wow, Lost Ashes of War, very fun. Don't do it. He's getting ready. He's packing back. And we're gonna go to the safe spot. Safeies. He can't hit us here. There you go. Perfect. Now you run. Ooh, we run, we run, we run. Oh, he's cocking back. Dodge. Oh, he knocked us off torrent right away. And there's such a stagger. All right, cool. We're through, though. Oh, we've made it. Now let's go get some revenge on that bird. Yeah, bud. You think it's cool to attack us? Well, we think it's cool to attack you. So what do you think about that? Huh? Attacking us while we cross your tiny bridge. Rude. He's, he's also very easy to kill. Which is very nice, Elden Ring. Thank you. How many souls are you gonna give me, bud? Just 4k. Nothing to shake a stick at right now. Ooh, what have you got for me? Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of um good Ooh, 13. That's ridiculously good. Um there's gonna be a bunch of stuff here for leveling up. Or not leveling up, but I should say leveling up my equipment, which is what I need from here on out. Um, I need level 8s and level 9 smithing stones. So, and then I also need an Elder Dragon smithing stone, or Ancient Dragon smithing stone, uh, for each of my blades. So, you know, fun times. It's gonna be a little difficult to get to those. We gonna get them. We gonna get them. Somebody come get her. <laughs> come on. Let's get this. Her soft cotton. I swear, sometimes the items in this game, you're like... Okay, I guess that's what we're getting. We're getting soft cotton. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, we're going up. Yeah, this whole area. Ooh, it's full of really cool enemies and really cool bosses. And there's a little bit of like a winding mechanic to it where you got to go up and explore a lot of the spaces. Um, because right now we've got to go over here, and, yeah, we're gonna have to go across a couple of the different problematic areas. How many do I have? I've got 12? Yeah, perfect. We good. Um, and you can explore a lot of stuff in here, but for right now we're not gonna do a ton of exploring. We're gonna try to get right through what we need to get to. Um, and we'll see if we can just... Ooh. It is I, Latena. Mm-hmm. We're almost there. Castle Sol lies just off to the north, where the other medallion is housed. It will grant passage to the land of the Halo Tree. Mm. So, that is something we definitely want to do, because 
If I go to Castle Soul and I get the other medallion to get to the Halleck Tree, I can fight the person that I want to fight. Which is both a blessing and a curse, if I'm being entirely honest. <laughs> Ooh, I see a tree. I know y'all see it too. Um, yeah, there's there's some stuff at the Halig tree, a uh, for sure. Some big problems, and uh, we're not ones to shy away from the big problems, you know. We haven't done it all game. We're not gonna start now. Uh, hey, buddy, you sleeping? Wake up. Thank you. I don't really want to fight any of them because, as I said, 4K souls. Who cares? Who cares about the 4K? We can do that anytime we want to. Nice. So this area, hilarious area, if I say so myself. Uh, it, it allows you to take a peek in with that little thing right there. This little guy right here. Let's take a peek. Yeah, I, I got the telescope. I get it. You can look around and kind of get a good glimpse of it. We've got to go across the lake and over there. We can do that, and there's a whole... I'll show you guys how to do that, but basically, there's an invisible bridge that lets you go over there. Whatever. <laughs> I'll show you how to get to the invisible bridge eventually. But for right now, we've got to get across here, and there's going to be a friend who shows up. So, prepare yourself for friendship. <laughs> and when I say friend, I don't really mean friend. <laughs> This game is full of non-friendly friends. Ugh. But I'm pretty sure there is a dungeon right here. Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go in. Don't worry, I'm not going to be distracted. Um, but I am going to open it because I love opening these places. And I'll probably grab the... Um, let's just sneak in here real quick. Yeah, so that's the Winter Winds. Spirit Caller Cave. I don't care about it, but I'm just going to grab this so I can come back and explore it later on my own time. My own sweet time when Pothead's got a little extra time on his hands. <laughs> but basically, now we can't see anything. And this is how a large chunk of this game is going to go. Uh, not a large chunk, but like, there's a bit of time where it's very hard to see anything. And then you have a dragon. Can I see you? There he is. Hey, dragon. Let's go dragon hunting. He's got so much health. See how much health this boy's got? Ooh, the bleed is brute. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta re regain stams. Cool. We got our stams. The bleed, seriously, is so nice. And no thanks. Ooh, thought I dodged it perfectly. Did not dodge it perfectly. Oh, he's a grumpy boy. He's such a grumpy boy. Can I get a bleed proc off on? Nope. Ooh, thought I dodged it perfectly again. That's really messing with my skis. To the left, to the left. Always, ooh, how did I get hit with that? That's shenanigans, bruh. Everything always to the left with dragons. And... Nothing. And bleed. Okay, cool. At least that does some good damage. Bro. No thanks, bleed proc. Okay, we're doing okay. We're not doing terrible. And we've already been frostbitten, so we're kind of sitting there and we're like, well, who cares about whatever frosty stuff you're going to do to us next. Oh, oh, I stand wildly corrected. That was insane. Um, okay. Nope. Ooh, got stuck in the animation. The brutal part of this game is that the animations last so long. Even with these fast weapons. Dodged it. Perfect. Can I hit him in the face? Ooh, facial bleed. You love to see it. And dodge. And bleed. And let's heal. Perfect. Borealis. No thanks. Oh, come on. That was perfect. And bleed. Let's get another heal in. Oh, he's going to do some stirf. Are you going to fly away from me? Yes, you are. For that, get on torrent. Sometimes they just auto go into their ranged attack stuff. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, oh, lord. Oh, come on, Borealis. That was unnecessary. Alright, we're getting down to it. Oh, thought I dodged that perfectly again. Did not dodge it perfectly. Oh, come on, Borealis. Could you stop your screams? 
Ooh, once again, I am just getting screwed by the animations. That's okay. Come on, we can do it. We just need a couple more bleed. Nope. Okay, beautiful. Run on in. Oh, he's getting his stompies out. No stompies. No stompies, Borealis. Okay, we can be patient. All right, we got to run. Okay, he's going to do his range. They always do their range when they get that little flap away. So, you get on your torrent, and... Nope. No. Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm getting hit with the frostbite. That was so rude. That was so rude, the frostbite. If he does his yells, we're screwed. We're screwed. Oh, no, we're still... Oh, yep, we're dead. There's nothing you can do, man. It's like, that AoE is brutal. All right, we got him next time. Woo, Borealis. All right, so our souls slash... Oh, they're right here. Perfect. Let's grab them. Is he right there? Yes, he is. Hey, bud. Ooh, we got hit right away. That's not great. But that's okay. Ooh, almost got hit twice right away. <laughs> and we just did a little dance under his feet. And no thanks. Perfect. Have some blood on your feet. No. Jeez, the, the fact that you get stuck in animations for so long in this game, very punishing. Wow, that was very lucky that he just decided to do that. He's hitting the he's hitting that guy. Don't hit him. He's a jellyfish. He's just a jelly friend. Are you gonna do it? Yes, range. Perfect. Okay. And we'll jump in and we'll hit some feet. Hit. Yo, feet. Oh, come on. We dodged. I'm not going to have that. That's shenanigans. And shenanigans. Well, how do we miss the blood? How do we miss the blood? I don't want to hit the jellyfish. <laughs> the targeting. It's like, but what about the jellyfish in the distance? Those are some friends. <laughs> oh, I'm screaming. It's not what we want. The screams are annoying. We're not doing great this fight. I will admit it. Ooh, we gotta dodge. All right, get on the horse. And target the foot. Ooh, the scream is rude. The scream is so rude. Dodge. How am I missing the dodge timing? Okay, cool. Let's get at least a bleed frog on Jeez, I'm getting hit every single chance I can. Not my best at showing here, dude. Missed the head. Okay. Okay. Alright. How did I miss the foot? Dodged. Got him. Nope. Okay, cool. We, we've got to be careful here because if he does his scream, it's going to hurt so much. Oh, that's not great either. How do we not get killed by that? Love it. Yes, range, 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 range. All right, we sneak in. Closest one. Hit it a bunch. Come on, can we get a bleed proc off? Nope. He's being very slippery. All right. Oh, the screams are not great. The screams hurt. Don't double scream. Ooh. Oh, he's doing he's doing the big scream. Perfect. We weren't. Ooh, I was gonna say perfect. We weren't underneath him, but the range on that scream is preposterous, dude. Oh, he's just getting ready to do it again. It seems like. Come on, bleed. No. Close one. Come on. Perfect. Bleed proc. Got it. All right. Oh no! Can't do it. Can't do it. That's death. No, it's not. I live. Okay. We're coming to the feet. Borealis. No. No, Borealis. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a big mistake there. Heal. Ooh, he's getting his big, his big mega bones on. How far away do I have to be to not get hit with? Okay. Here. That's how far away. That's ridiculous, by the way. Oh, he's doing it again? No, he's not. Okay, he was just screaming. 
Perfect. Base. Blood. Base. Blood. Nope. Missed the blood on the face. Base. Blood. Ooh, I can get him if I'm just not an idiot. Ooh. Heal. He's doing his screams. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Just one more hit. Oh, boy, Alice, we got you, bud. Ooh. How many souls do you give me? 100k? Not enough, in my opinion. Ooh. Okay, cool, great. We got a new Draconic Power. Ugh. All right, cool. We got that dude, and we are heading our way up to the top of this snow field. And for now, that's going to be where I leave this episode. We've got a big boss to fight next episode and a couple of crucial things to do next episode. So I'll see you guys then. Peace. We're getting glorious. We're getting up to mischief. Don't wait, cause we're coming in hot. Let's eat some biscuits. Let's get